Hey guys, what's up? Shin055, back with another Hydro video. It is Sunday, so I'll be drawing another video today. Um, anyway, guys, today's video is on uh, Kishin Asura from Soul Eater, I'm assuming. I don't know. I never finished Soul Eater, so um, this looks like, um, I don't know, something from like an episode I haven't watched yet. So, uh, yeah, we're going to be drawing this guy today. And, uh, oh, I'm going to butcher uh, the... <laughs> The person who requests this name, um, Dimakatos Dim Nikosi, um, thank you very much for your request. I will put your name in the description and the tag thing around here. Um, so, yeah. Or actually, I don't know. Uh, annotations don't work. I'm going to have to do that in Windows Movie Maker. But anyway, I will put your name somewhere in the video because I can't pronounce that. Um... So yeah, anyway guys, I uh, hope you, uh, let's get your pencils ready and, uh, let's start, uh, drawing. Alright guys, uh, let's get started. So, so, um, what you're gonna want to start out with is, like almost all other pictures, is draw a big circle. Um, and you can draw it pretty big, uh, we're just drawing his head today, because honestly I couldn't find a really good picture of, like, his whole body. I, I typed in the name on Google and just, um, just his head like came up, so, yeah, that's what we're drawing. So you start with a big circle, and then you could draw the crosshairs, so, there's that one for, like, the center of the face. And it's like a three-quarters view, so it's kind of on the one, bleh, more to one side. And then his eyes, and he's kind of looking up, like, he's looking down at us, but his head's tilted up. So, the curve line for the eyes is going to go like that. And then you can kind of just gesture in kind of the face around here. And the head kind of goes out a little bit more and in. Something like that. Something like that will do. Perfectly fine. And then uh, you can just kind of, we can just gesture in like his neck around here be about there and then he has other stuff which we'll draw in later it's, it's honestly not that uh, detailed so it's not gonna be that hard to put in so we'll just do that later but let's uh, jump into his face now since we got the gesture I'll zoom in a little bit um, I like starting out with like his head shape so basically his eye there's gonna be a curve line that goes in uh, where's his, where his eyes uh, where his eyes are uh, I can't speak today <laughs> And then uh, there's going to be a curve line that goes in, and then down, and then about here. And you're going to draw kind of like a straight line for the jaw, and then just kind of curves up and around about here. So you get kind of like a face shape that looks something like this. If you want to, you can kind of curve it up, but the hair is going to pretty much cover all that up. So... And once you get that down, you're kind of drawing his nose, which is kind of near the center here. And it's just a curved line that goes out like this, very similar to this shape over here. And then it's going to go down. And then you're going to draw kind of like a little triangle here, just to kind of show like the under part of the nose. Like that. And then I like jumping into his smile, which it starts off with a line going down. And then over and across like this, kind of like a little cat smile thing. And you draw a little curve line here, and if you want to, you can kind of darken it like that. And then a little curve line for his underlip. And then another one here, and again, you can darken this in too. Like that. And if you want to, you can darken this in. All right. And now for his third eye that he has on his head, you kind of draw this kind of um, oval, like really pointy oval type shape. And then you just draw a big circle in the middle. And then another smaller circle right there. That's like his third eye. And then for his other eye, um, you start with like a, like a circle, just kind of get the placement right. But basically what you're going to do is draw a curve line that goes across like this, and then one down like that. 
and then curve around and then I'll kind of curve in and over like this so you just go around and then up and then just kind of connect it and if you want to and what helps with this character is you make this part darker so like just kind of follow it a little bit go in and then you can kind of shade it in like that something like that and then he's kind of looking down so draw kind of the circle around here for his eye and you can draw another little circle like that very similar to the eye up here and then just a pupil in the middle of this one like that and then you draw a little curve line under the eye and then a nice little curve line right here something like that all right and just at the top of the eye since i don't think he has eyebrows so you can just kind of draw like a curve line and a line that goes like this just to show like his like the top of his eyelid but again i don't think he has eyebrows so we're not going to draw those in and then for his hair it's actually pretty simple you basically just draw like one big spike here it goes like that and then another that goes off and like kind of over the eye a little bit Whoop, someone's screaming upstairs. Hopefully the camera doesn't pick that up. And another spike, and that's pretty much all you do for his hair is just these long spikes that go down. And then another one that here. And then same thing on this end where it just kind of goes down and up down and up and then around the third one I usually make around three and then for the fourth one I kind of wrap this one around the head and it just goes around and this kind of makes like the head shape like finishes it off something like that and it'll lead into the last spike on this side and then if you want, you could kind of put it behind these spikes. But there you go. And just to finish off his hair, uh, there's like little um, like white detail like triangles. And basically all you do is you just make a triangle. And then uh, put a little gap in and just make another triangle going the opposite way. So for this one, it's like you make a triangle. And you can connect it with the lines of the hair. To make like a triangle, go a little bit lower. And then you just make a triangle go in the opposite direction. And you keep doing that for every spike. And you can try to keep it like all of them lined up. So, um, yep. That's pretty much it. Like that. And then same thing over here, but they're on um, the right side. So... And they are actually slightly smaller than the ones on the other side. I don't know. I think it's just some, just the way he draws light reflections for the hair. And another one. There we go. There we go. And if you want to, to kind of complete it off, you can kind of shade in this part uh, where the eye is. Uh, something like that. Just show it's like behind the hair. If you want to, you can keep kind of like shading it in. Something like that. And then, all right, now we can draw, finish up his neck, which is just, again, we pretty much follow the lines we have here. And you just kind of curve this one around a little bit, like that. And then you're gonna start about here and draw a curve line like this. And then it kind of goes down into like a V. And then goes up and around over here. And then it just wraps around. And then it, he's kind of wearing like a scarf. So you can kind of draw like little curve lines that like curve in like this. Just to show like kind of fold. And you draw another one here. Like a little, I don't know, a little fold over there. Like that. And then kind of the same thing over here. But it's just going down. So 
Something like that. Very basic, very simple. That's pretty much all we're leaving off. And then I'm going to zoom out a little bit. And it's like this weird like face mask thing that opens up. Uh, so the easiest way to draw it is to kind of, I start about, you can start about here. And you draw a curved line that goes all the way around like this. And then curves up to his head. So it's almost like a, like a circle. But when you get here, you kind of just draw a straight line going down. And then just kind of like these rectangles that just jut out. And then just kind of curves down. There's two rectangles here. And I'm going to erase the overlap uh, so it's a little bit clearer on um, what you need to draw. And again, like a lot of the hair gets covered up so by this thing. So if you mess up on the hair, no, no real big deal because a lot of it gets covered up. Something like that. And then, um, and you only see the detail on this one, but there's like a circle here with kind of like a little oval on this side. Like that. And then there's one above his head, which starts about here. And then just kind of wraps around like this. Very similar to the other one. So you start with like a, just a big curved line that goes into these little rectangles on the bottom here. And that curve around like that. And then the last one over here is just a curve line like this. And then just into three rectangles. like that and uh, that is pretty much all there is to it um yeah anyway guys this is wasn't like a really hard how to draw video again it's just basically just a normal anime face and then just like this big thing around his head so um oh before I forget here is a more inked version like after you erase all the guidelines and everything um move these a little bit closer so you get something that looks something like that so after you like ink it and erase all like the pencil line. Um, so yeah, honestly, not not a very hard uh, hard how to draw video. Um, on Kishin Asura, that's his name. I had to write it down on top of the paper because I wasn't gonna remember. So um, yeah. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed. I hope you can draw them now. Um, if you have any questions about this picture, feel free to leave that in the comment section below. Uh, I will try my best to. Um, reply to you and answer your questions and um, if you have any comments questions or concerns or um, even requests you can leave those in the comments but the comment section below uh, the way requests work uh, is I just take your name and your request and um, I put it on my how to draw list and on Sunday when I make how to draw videos I just randomly pick one off the list there's no real uh, real uh, order or time it, it's just what I feel like drawing that day so um yeah Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed. Also, you can like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. YouTube, jazz, follow me on DeviantArt, Twitter, Twitch. Links in the description below. All that good stuff. So, anyway, guys, uh, I hope you enjoyed. And, uh, oh, and just uh, another reminder that uh, Sonic Month, it starts next week. So, a bunch of Sonic How to Draw videos are going to be coming out for the next month. Um, so, yeah, uh, again, if you're watching this, like, a month or two from now or even like a year this is completely irrelevant but for those watching like the day this comes out uh just just note uh sonic month uh next month so a bunch of sonic had draw videos okay anyway guys uh that's all i need to say thank you very much for watching i hope you enjoyed and see you next time Bye bye